COVID-19 has had a lasting impact on the way many of us live and work. Remote working opportunities and preference shifts drove strong population growth in regional areas at the expense of the capitals. Though the pace at which these population flows were occurring has eased, they appear to remain elevated in comparison to pre-COVID averages. Demand for more affordable regions and larger homes has provided support, resulting in regional areas faring better than capital city areas in 2022. But despite being a relative bright spot in the slowing housing market, regional home price growth is slowing. Now that interest rates have risen substantially, and buyers' borrowing power has been reduced, regional hotspots where values are typically higher are seeing prices fall fastest. The areas that have resisted the change in market conditions are largely those that remain more affordable on a relative basis, like the Barossa York, Mid North and Darling Downs Maranoa regions, where potential buy demand per listing has increased close to 50% compared to the same period last year in both regions. The amount of choice buyers have has continued to improve in many parts of the country this year, particularly capital cities, though the same does not ring quite so true in many regional areas. In regional areas, listings haven't normalised as quickly. The good news is this process has begun in recent months. However, comparing available stock on market to pre-pandemic averages, it's clear to see there's much less choice for buyers in the regions. In the regions, the number of days on market has climbed from record low selling times. And in most regional territories, properties are sitting on the market an additional 10 days relative to the same period last year. The exceptions are regional South Australia and Western Australia, where properties are selling 17 and three days faster, respectively. Regional markets are likely to continue to exhibit a lesser pace of price falls. They remain buoyed by shifting lifestyle priorities, migration trends and affordability advantages that are still in play. In addition, conditions remain tougher for regional buyers, with the number of properties listed for sale still well below pre-pandemic levels, which is also seeing some markets remain more competitive and shielding home values.